one of the hardest struggles you'll ever have to endure in life. Being black, living in America. We love you. All right, this is Jay Clark here with InfoWars, and we are here uh, conducting interviews here at Gibbons Recreational Center here in Austin, Texas on Juneteenth. But we're here to ask America, did you know that these were the things that were going on? And so the first question is, um, how do you feel Black Lives Matter is doing as far as addressing issues across America? I think they're doing all right. We just got to, I guess, step up more with this police brutality. That's one of the main things that they really actually need to get more in tune to because anybody can say Black Lives Matter, but there's a, there's a difference between seeing it and doing it. Do you feel that uh, because of the popularity of Black Lives Matter, do you feel that they should address maybe other issues like abortion or uh, depopulation that's trying to go on in other areas? Yeah, I think they should, especially with with all the diseases and stuff going on. This, I think for uh, our black community, we have like one of the most highest age rates, something like that, between I think 20 and like 30 something. And with that going on, man, these days, you gotta make, everybody gotta make sure y'all kids strap up. Did you know that since 1973, over 19 million of our black people, black babies have been aborted in places like Planned Parenthood across the U.S.? No, I did not know that. Did you know that that calculated out to like 900 per day? 900 per day? 900 per day across the U.S. Whoa, I did not know that. Were you aware that out of the 900 per day, out of our tax dollars, over $50 million goes towards that or has gone towards Planned Parenthood being able to abort our black babies? No, I did not know that at all. He wasn't aware. Um, what do you think about Trump and making America great again? Um, Trump really doesn't say nothing good to say about him. But were you aware that uh, that in in Trump's term, he's also tried to defund Planned Parenthood and the monies in which it receives from our tax dollars that gives to the abortion clinics in order to kill our people? Oh, I did not know that. What do you think about Oprah trying to run in 2020? I think it's a pretty good idea with her. She's a strong black woman, not only being black, but just being a woman in general. We do need more of uh, women's rights, uh, women stepping up to the plate. Were you aware recently that she attended the Bilderberg meeting and within that meeting, one of the topics was about the depopulation of people around the world? I watched a little bit of it, but I didn't get to really watch that much of it, but I was aware of that one. Yeah. Do you think that's a, you think she should be attending meetings like that? I guess she's probably there, I guess, to see where it's going and see if she is elected, what she plans on doing and how she plans on going. I think that's one of the reasons she might be there. I got you. I got you. Uh, what's up, man? All right, we got Terrence Cato here in the house. So we're here at Givens Recreational Center. Uh, one of Austin Elite Squads, one of Austin's representatives here. AKA Austin Bats, y'all already know. Uh, yeah, that's right. And how do you feel about uh, Black Lives Matter and what they're doing as, as far as addressing the issues and, and bringing attention and awareness to our black people about things that are going on, you know, across the world? Uh, I want any move, movement that's positive. Where I come from, uh, I'd rather it be all lights matter. We, at the end of the day, we all breathe the same air. I, I don't do no color boundary. I see, I, like, I really wish everybody was the same color. So, all lives matter. We're gonna go around that route. Were you aware that since 1973, over 19 million of our black people have been aborted in Planned Parenthoods across the U.S.? No, I, I definitely didn't know that. I definitely know that. Did, did you know that it calculated out to like 900 per day? No, that's that's crazy. And it's all the black, the black. Uh, I'm just speaking about black, our black people from wow. ladies 15 wow. to 30. Wow, that's, 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 that's tragic. Like we gotta do better. Did you know that, that since 1973, that the U.S. government has taken out of our tax dollars over $50 million to support that venue and others like it? No, I'm, I'm 
not. Like, they don't even take money to support the black people. And that's crazy. That's crazy. What do you think about Trump? Can I cuss? You, you can. You can be open. Fuck Donald Trump. Hey. Hey. Fuck, but, man, at the end of the day, man, I don't. I, man, I, ever since he been the president, tell you the truth, I don't even follow none of the politics because yeah, at the him. end of the day, I voted for Hillary. He and did. I thought she was a better president, but ever since he been in in office, I don't follow him to tell you the truth. Did you know that Trump is working to defund Planned Parenthood and the taxes that fifty million dollars was going towards it since nineteen seventy three? Like he just passed the bill to defund it. For real? What did you think about Obama whenever he was in the office? Hey, it's the first black president, man. I'm riding with with, with Obama, Obamacare, all that, man. Shout out to President Obama. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Question. Did you know that when Obama was in office, he tried to continue to fund Planned Parenthood through the taxes in which were taken out of the American people, knowing that our people would be affected the most? No, I didn't know that, man. This is crazy. I need to look that up. I never knew that. What do you think about Oprah running 2020? I'm voting for Oprah 2020, Oprah. Did you know that Oprah went to the Bilderberg meeting and one of the topics was about the depopulation of the people? Again, I did not know that. I, I, I have to go study some stuff. <laughs> sorry, America. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I'm sorry, America, but once, like, Trump been in office, bro, like, I, politics, I'm just dead with it. I was just dead with it. And, and a lot of people have, but, hey, we're asking a question. Did you know? We're here with my buddy. How do you feel about Black Lives Matter right now and what they're doing out in the community? Well, I think it's a positive movement. It brings the black people together and unite them, you know, um, in different areas, different locations. And, and what, what current topics are they bringing awareness to and attention to in our communities? Well, it, it gives a, what, what they're bringing to us right now is um, the law, obviously. What we can and what we cannot do. Uh, were you aware since 1973 with over 19 million of our black babies have been aborted in places like Planned Parenthood across the U.S.? Yes. I actually um, done a lot of research about parent plan, uh, parent. Planned Parenthood? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. And actually, that was to decrease the African American's uh, minor uh, population. Uh, yes. And that, that 19 million has calculated out to about 900 per day. Were you aware of that, pretty much? Yes, sir. Did you know um, that our tax dollars, 53 million, has supported it? I am educated about our tax dollars is with the, the abortion company, yes. Were you aware that in Obama's terms, he continued to fund it knowing that those monies were being allocated towards it? Were you aware of that? I did not. Were you aware that whenever Trump got into office, he put in the law to defund it? Defund the abortion part. Uh, Defund the abortion part of the funding. Well, I mean, I did not, but I am glad that he did something positive in his term. Okay, I got you. I got you. Um, what do you think about when Oprah was talking about running for president, 2020? Hey, there's nothing wrong with one of our African American uh, women going for to be a president. Did you know that Oprah attended the Bilderberg meeting where one of the topics was the depopulation? of African Americans with the Oprah situation and I mean she's whatever, a billionaire whatever, too whatever she had going on there I what I could say is Oprah is for our well-being and also it's a case-by-case -case situation we don't know exactly behind closed doors what, what all? everybody's doing I got it you comes down to Oprah Donald Trump Obama all we know is we all we got to do is stay united as black folks 